This is 7 News at 4. Off the top of 4 o'clock, the verdict is in in a high-profile South Florida case, and it's a split decision for a woman charged with murdering a foster child. Good afternoon, everyone. She has been found guilty on four counts. But the jury could not reach agreements on the more serious count, and 7th Eugene Ramirez covering the trial from the Metro Justice Building and has the latest. Eugene? Mike, we're talking about a Geraldine Graham on trial for murder. The murder of Rilia Wilson, the little girl who has been missing, who hasn't been seen since December of 2000. She has always maintained her innocence, saying that DCF took this little girl away and never returned her after they took her away uh, for testing. Today, the jury saying that the state didn't prove that Geraldine Graham, in fact, murdered this little girl. Remember, there, there has been nobody uh, ever found. However, the jury did come back and convicted her of some of the other charges. Let's listen in now to that verdict being read. In the jury in Miami-Dade County, Florida, this 24th day of January, 2013, find the defendant, Geraldine Graham, as to count two, guilty of kidnapping as charged in count two of the indictment. We, the jury, find as to count three, guilty of aggravated child abuse as charged in count three of the indictment. We, the jury, find as to count four, guilty of child abuse as a lesser included offense of count four of the indictment. We, the jury, find as to count five, guilty of aggravated child abuse as charged in count five of the indictment. So say we all, Megan Clouser, four person. And the court will be declaring a mistrial as to count one of the indictment at this time. And that was it right there. The state saying that they do not plan, again, they do not plan on trying her on that murder charge again. Only the charges that stuck, the charges that she was convicted on, are the ones that she will do time for. And the prosecutor telling me outside of the courtroom just a little while ago that because of those convictions, she might not even uh, get out of jail ever. The kidnapping charge carries a maximum of life in prison. The child abuse charges could carry up to 30 years in prison for each of those charges. And it's Three of uh, those charges that she was convicted of. This decision coming from a jury of eight women and four men who were visibly moved, some of them crying as this verdict was read. We spoke to one of those jurors who kind of described what the deliberation process was like. Listen in. Everybody, we, we stood together, all the, what we had, and um, we just came up with that. It was very difficult for us, all of us. We cried, we laughed, we did everything, and it was very tough for us. Mm -hmm. What yeah. was most difficult for you? Was, were you one of the people stuck on the first charge? Um, no, everything, it was very difficult. The whole case was very dramatic. It was very tough for us, and uh, we did the best we can, you know, and uh, we just tried to follow, we went by the law. And the jury handing down their verdict after eight long weeks of testimony, which included the testimony of Robin Lunsford, one of the jailhouse niches. We'll have more on that coming up on 7 News at 5 o'clock. Also, the sentencing now being scheduled for February 12th. Many more details coming up. Keep it here on 7. We're live in Miami. I'm Eugene Ramirez, 7 News.